In this white nondescript box here is a really interesting aquarium product that has been doing a really aggressive social media push. Curiosity got the better of me and I agreed to do a quick unboxing and uh, initial first impression review for them. Check this out. This is a no-nonsense all-in-one aquarium monitor. Here are all the items from the box right here. We have the main display units, we have the probe. These are the calibration solution. Even though these are not solution, these are actually powder. I, I, I'm guessing that you have to mix your own solution to do the calibration. And here are the mounting Velcros, which I understand that you can just cut tape these to your sump or your tank. And we have some suction cups for wire management. We also have two different types of plugs. And finally, we also have this really, really text heavy instruction pamphlets. Oh my goodness. Uh, quick background. The company reached out to me asking if I would be interested in reviewing this particular product. These days I'm pretty picky in terms of the product that I use on my tank. However, I think this is interesting simply because this is kind of like an all-in-one standalone tank monitoring units versus for example the hydros that i use and absolutely love i do need to use my phone to look at all the different values what this has is actually a display unit that shows the ph the salinity as well as the temperature which is what i really care about so with the quick at a glance usability in mind as well as a way to kind of just double check the values coming out of the probes is connected to my hydros i figure okay why not the little twist i did for this particular review is that i am not accepting any more money from the company. I just want the product itself and also ask for one extra one to give to one of my viewers. That's you that's watching this video right here. And I believe that will be my approach towards reviewing products on this channel moving forward whenever I can. Basically, whenever I review products, I'll always ask the manufacturer to see if they're willing to put up one more to do almost like a giveaway to someone who's watching this video. I'm not gonna make you guys jump through a hoop to win here because that's not the goal of the channel. Uh, simply leave a comment, any comment will do, and I'll just randomly pick one of you guys uh, who is in the US, unfortunately, because I have to ship it within the US uh, for one of you guys to win this unit here. I figured this is just one of the small ways that I can say thank you to giving me a chance to share some of these videos with you guys. All right, we're gonna skip ahead to after I have this unit set up. This is not a installation or setup video because that's not what this video is about. This video is on whether this unit actually worked as described and what is my opinion on whether this is something that I would use on my tank and purchase or not. I think that was it. I basically just connected the wires, chose the appropriate power plug and that's it. But one thing of note I want to show you. This is the probe that's going into the sump and here it says max level. That's right, I can read Chinese guys. So the water should not come above this this point right here but what's interesting really interesting is that there seems to be like a little I guess that's the end of the probe with a little bit of water in there or whatever fluid that is interesting because usually the type of probe that I'm used to seeing is basically like a little bulb at the end and doesn't have any fluid well maybe it's fluid inside I'm not sure but definitely doesn't look like this so I thought that's interesting That was a really quick and play. Literally, I just connected the wire, stick the probe into the tank, mounted this guy with the Velcro, and that was it. And everything is just pretty much right out of the box. We're looking at salinity of 3.46%, or that translates to 34.5%. Uh, I need to bring this up a little bit. Same thing with the specific gravity, 1.024. I'll bring it up a little. It uh, looks like the pH is 8.18, which is in line with the two probes that I have. I'm gonna pull up my hydros just to kind of double check the values. One is 8.12, one is 8.23. This 8.18 sitting right in between the two. I can't ask for a, a better value. So this kind of tells me that the pH is probably in line. Temperature 77.9, which is where I set it. Let me just double check as well. The hydros, it's a uh, 78.1 definitely close enough for me. I think the uh, temperature probe is actually, I think I have it in the overflow. This way I know exactly what the display tank water is. Down here are two values that I'm not familiar with. It says is the TDS and EC. Uh, TDS, total dissolved solid, yes, but I don't think we pay attention to it in salt water. And the EC, I simply do not know what that is. Um, I'll just look that up. So the hardware simply works, which is fantastic. And the display is nice and bright. One thing, if I have to pick is that sometimes the um, 
the arrows on the button is a little bit misleading because if you look at the menu, I went into the menu, um, the button actually reflects what's here on the screen. Like when you click on the middle button, you think you'll be selecting, right? Because it says OK on there, but it actually goes down the list. And then for example, if I want to go up arrow, it actually is selecting based on what this is shown here. So I think there's a little bit of a this disconnects between what the actual button does compared to what is printed on here. But from my understanding is that they this is actually a slightly older model already. They already kind of refreshed this. The newer model has a white face and they fixed the manufacturer said there's like a bubble issue with the screen. I can kind of see it, I guess. But when the screen comes on, which it stays on the whole time, uh, you can't really tell at all. But the new version supposedly does not have that issue and have a white white uh, face plate. Now I'm not sure if they change what's printed on the button itself. I'm not sure. But uh, just here, it took me by surprise initially when I first started navigating the menu. I'm not a huge fan of this dangling wire. This scares me a little bit, especially being next to water. Um, however, I really appreciate how it is easy to set up. You just kind of connect it, stick it in, turn it on, and that's it. It just works. I had to change the temperature to Fahrenheit versus Celsius simply because that's what I'm used to. But it is straight up plug and play. I'm going to leave this unit running for a bit and to see if the value holds uh, because right now it's just kind of like first impression setup and see how it works. Uh, so I'm going to live with it for a little bit and see how I feel about it down the road. Four to six weeks later. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I have been running this Catley. At least I think that's how the company name is pronounced. Uh, this Catley six in one aquarium monitor since early June. And here is my opinion. As someone who was not paid, but was given a free unit to try out and also two extra units to give away in this video. I will consciously try to be as unbiased as possible. This unit works as advertised the entire two months. The only hiccup was that a few days in the middle where the specific gravity and salinity was reading low. Uh, the specific gravity was showing in 1.021 range when it should have been around 1.025 and this was confirmed with my hydrometer and VG refractometers. I have tried to shake the probe, reset the unit, etc. all to no avail. This hiccup eventually resolved itself after 2-3 to three days and it has been rock solid since. One thing I noticed is that the unit's salinity reading does not convert directly to the specific gravity's value. So I reached out to the company and asked about it. I also asked them about a lot of technical questions earlier as well and they have been super professional. And this is the exact quote I got back for your reference, simply because I'm not all that scientific and I thought some of you smart people may appreciate it. And I quote, all water quality testers currently on the market are affected by temperature because the measurement principle is the same. I personally think that you don't need to be so entangled in which value is the most accurate because the area affected by temperature is actually very small, so you don't have to worry about having a great impact on water quality. In addition, below is the reason for the error in the measurement results of the optical refractometer and a monitor from our product engineers. And I inception quote, during optical measurements, water is dropped onto the lens to see the refractive index. At this time, the water in the lens is still and the water temperature is close to the temperature of the lens or air temperature. Most people will optically measure the local salinity at one point in time to be used as the average salinity of the aquarium. And this method is called sampling test to feedback the overall salinity. But in fact, the concentration of seawater is not ideally uniform and the environment of organisms in seawater is also uneven. As long as there is water flow and temperature changes, the environment they live in is dynamic and therefore optical testing cannot directly feed back the average salinity of seawater, but only the local salinity at a certain moment. The electronic measuring equipment like our monitor, in essence, measures the strength or the concentration of conductive ions around the two electrodes and focuses on feeding back the dynamic changes in the living environments of aquatic organisms. The meaning and results of the measurements are naturally different. And an inception quotes. But still in that quote, of course, if there must be a more accurate value, it is of course EC, which stands for electrical conductivity. But this does not mean that salinity and specific gravity are not accurate, as each measurement has a reference value and they will unavoidably affect it by the temperature. End quote. I was somewhat satisfied the answer, while the difference between the three values is still a little bit unsettling for me. 
there has not been any more surprise readings like this, and I was able to monitor the salinity, specific gravity, or electrical conductivity in real time. And it has given me nice heads ups when I may need to add a little bit more salt water. I do see the number dips a little bit as I pull tank water out for whatever purpose, and my auto top off with fresh water was a little bit too aggressive. So the salinity monitoring is a very nice to have even if the value may or may not be exact, as long as the reading is consistent, so I know when something is changed. The other important parameters this monitor tracks is pH. Right out of the box, this unit's pH reading is right smack in between my two other pH probes that I have attached to my hydros. It gets the thumbs up from me. Though I'm not a fan of the calibration powder, where I would have to mix up the calibration solution when the time comes, the company recommends calibration every six months, which seems pretty standard. Aside from salinity and pH, this monitor also has a temperature reading, which is rock solid and matches the hydros reading as well. This monitor also has a TDS reading or total dissolved solid. This one I'm not sure if it is all that useful in the reef tank, so I did not pay too much attention to it. You probably want to use this on freshwater, a shrimp tank, or a RODI unit. Overall, for under $100, you get a no-nonsense, always-on, at-a-glance monitor for your tank's pH, salinity and temperature and this is a very very nice value especially for the ph reading which is a hot topic these days the downside for me is the bulky probe units which may be tough to hide for a system without a sump the clumsy probe and display wire connector that i wish is a little bit longer and a little bit more pliable so it does not have to sit near water and the confusing buttons on the unit's face plates although that i believe has already been addressed in the now updated version which has a white face plate the thing that I did not test out in this video is a true long-term test. For that, I will update you guys again in another few months. After two months of use, this monitor has been reliable enough for me to at least draw a first impression. And as someone who has no salinity probe before this, I am surprised by how much I appreciate this information at a glance. I also appreciate the ability to quickly see the tank's pH while I'm just standing in front of the tank instead of pulling out my phone and then opening an app. When you wrap all these together in a nice little bundle, to me I think it's worth the $99. Hey, but guess what? You get an extra 15% off if you use the code inappropriate reefer on their website. I don't get any kickback or any gain from this, so this is all for you, only if you're interested. Now, for the giveaway that I mentioned, I am going to pick two comments on this video using a random comments picker, and I will ask the manufacturer to send each winner a monitor. This contest will only be in the US, I am so sorry. Please leave any comments and check back this coming Wednesday. I will pin the winning comment to the top with the contact information. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you have any questions, please leave a comment. And if you leave a comment, I guess you're entering the drawing automatically. So good luck to everyone and have fun.